Hi everyone, this is a screenshot Sudoku solver. I have uploaded a screenshot over here. I have made use of machine learning to extract the numbers in the screenshot. I have populated the numbers here so that they can be verified and corrected if required. Once the solve button is clicked, the Sudoku will be solved. I will be taking some screenshots now and then upload it to this screenshot Sudoku solver. I will be showing taking of screenshots in 200% speed and will be showing upload part in normal speed. No video tricks used apart from that. So how does this work? First, I have converted the image into a grayscale image. Then to detect the edges, what I have done is I have, I have checked for the color value by using the x and y coordinates to identify the edges. Once the edges are identified, first I have cropped the image so that only sudoku is visible and white spaces are removed. Then I have used simple math to convert this one image into 81 images as shown here. I have made use of machine learning to convert each of the image into its respective number. These numbers are then displayed in the UI. I have used an artificial intelligence program to then solve this. How exactly is it done? I will explain in the program section next.
program section. In this section, I'm going to explain you what exactly I've done, not just with images and explanation, but also with a Jupyter notebook explanation of the program. Unlike other sections, this section is meant only for programmers. Before going to how exactly I did it, let us evaluate the other options I had that I've tried but didn't work out. PyTesseract. PyTesseract is a wrapper written on top of Google's OCR. This was a library that was available and it was extremely easy to use. But this OCR wasn't meant for single. When I've uploaded an entire image for it to detect, it partially detected some numbers and they didn't detect some numbers. The data that it detected was of no use. I thought maybe if I convert the image into 81 different images, in which each image will have only one box, then maybe it works. It didn't work, it couldn't even detect a single number when I popped it. I've tried with other examples other than Sudo. It detects some images. And when I pop those images, it won't work. MNIST. MNIST is an extremely famous and written digit dataset. We can find many, many examples of it. And most of the machine learning programs, deep learning programs were easily available. I thought I could directly apply these solutions. I can take that model and try recognizing digits, though not handwritten. Mostly handwritten and not handwritten digits should be similar. I have also tried one of these examples, the Keras example, in my Google Collapse notebook. I could see that the test accuracy is extremely high, so I've tried to save that model and then download it. Then what happened? It had extremely good test accuracy, but when I tried to deploy it, the Heroku server said it's extremely huge in size. If I install TensorFlow, it crosses 500 MB. Now comes what I did. I thought it was impossible for me to write a machine learning program without making use of any deep learning libraries like TensorFlow and without using convolutional neural networks, which was extremely famous for uh, image classification. But then I have found this example from SQL. This uses SPM and it's pretty much lightweight, so I wanted to give it a try. This model had a very good accuracy. It had an accuracy of 97%. But the problem was the handwritten data set that was there for it, it was trained on a very few minutes and it wasn't directly working with the digital data that I had. So, I've created my own dataset. I will show you how I created that dataset. Let me open the setup. I have used ReactJS to write the content for this. What exactly this program does is it will let me upload an image and it will let me identify all the numbers that are wrongly identified. And when I click on this save images button, the images will go to the train. Because zero is being identified properly, and there is a huge amount of data to identify zero, I'm just considering other numbers. For some examples, I wanted to consider zero, and for some examples, I did it. So I've used git to eliminate some zeros. I've used this notebook to train my model. This model is trained by taking the images and converting them to 16 by 16 images and then converting them to an array of 16 into 60 size. This model also had a very good accuracy, it had an accuracy of 
this section is used to identify outliers. The numbers that weren't been identified and that were available in my dataset will be sent to a folder called outliers. And this is the amount of data I had for each number. You can see that I have a very huge data set for CO but uh, for other numbers it wasn't that high. This is the data that wasn't being detected by my model and was available in my data set. This is the artificial intelligence program that will solve pseudo -coding. With a simple Google search, I found this. I've made use of this to solve pseudo. -coding. My main challenge was uh, to identify the numbers uh, from the image from the screenshot. Solving Sudoku wasn't a big challenge for me as it was already available on the internet. This solver works very similar to how we solve Sudoku. It will first eliminate all the numbers that it can with the peers that it has. Easy puzzles will be solved with simple elimination. For hard puzzles, what it does is it will check for least number of possibilities per grid and that least number of possibilities will be replaced by the first possibility first and it will try to solve with it and then if it doesn't work it tries with the other possibility and so on so that's it for this video i'll try to leave everything i can in the description below thanks for watching